Hello, Kleis here, Copy Kitty. Uh, in the last part, the um, mystery person pretended to be kidnapped for Savant's story, so uh, we've got to totally rescue them because they need it, or something like that. Myself a little space. Also, I'll have to remember that Quick can shoot around corners. Oop. And that you can shoot diagonally with it. Wait a minute, there's space up here. Oh. Also, that split enemy is not a target. I can just leave the bottom half behind. I guess considering all the keys that are around, I might would have wanted to eliminate it because I'll probably be going back there to eliminate actual targets later. Anyway. Let's uh Whoa. Oh, they're just the alarm enemies inside the key things. Somehow I never realized how the alarm enemies spawned in. I think I've definitely never used this power before. It looks pretty cool. I think I often don't use Quick as a main. I really should use it more. The window's not bad. I mean, it's not the explode window, but... Only it's the explode window is the explode window. Although the light window comes close. Execution chamber. Oh, attention all underlings, a magical bug man <laughs> has broken into the prison cells. Blow him up before he saves our prisoner. Uh oh, sounds like the big boss robot's anger. You'd better be quick. Wait a minute. The last text box was in their color. They're pretending to be a robot, right? I'm not wrong about that, am I? This is kind of awkward. Oh, it's a good thing I got hit right before the Harvester hit me, or else I would have taken even more damage. Give me the Harvester. Okay, thanks. Um, why is it not harvesting? Dealt with the chamber, but... Oh! Duh, I couldn't get the time... Oh, I can't get the time stop. We have some wave and some gear. Oh, and some health gain. If I just break into this properly. Uh oh. I don't want the health to disappear before I can get in. So I'm gonna waste all the gear. But I didn't want to waste the time stop or my wave. Oh, this looks exciting. Um, is this a mandatory alarm part? Oh. <laughs> Time stop is a good power. Oh, I ran out of harvester. Somehow I didn't notice. Alright, I'm shielded. Now there's no way the target can defeat me. Or the... Oh, I forgot what they're called. Their names come up a few times. Alright, what have we got? Oh, Missile Man. That's a lot of split. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, their ammo drops are tiny, though. Well, actually, not bad. I got half a bar. Um, this is getting a little silly. Should probably be using my weapon, but I wanted the extra range on the bit beam for a bit. Hmm. And the black things provide quick. Also, I think he's about to slash me. That was a, not a good dash direction. Ooh, health. I'll take it. <laughs> We're fine. Don't worry about it. Maybe focus a little. And yeah, we made it through. Easy. <laughs> and so the magical bug man destroyed the carrot spitting muscle monster and saved the captured in town. Uh, the door opens and she thanks him from the bottom of her heart as she flies away into the sunset. Alright, gender confirmed. Oh, but you can't see her though because she zooms away extra super fast. And the incredibly well dressed bug man opts to never speak of this again. Alright. What a surprise, the pink text person is a girl. So it's really possible to use the cybers dimensional gateways to find their other bases? Isn't that a pretty big weakness? If you're familiar with interdimensional navigation, then yes. The cybers just assume that most people aren't crazy enough to jump into an unstable vortex of undulating energy. With the right preparations, a calculated risk can lead to the perfect surprise attack. cramped here. Can I? Yeah, I can break open that. I was worried I wouldn't be able to target it. Oh, that's an actual enemy one. Oh, I should have maybe booped the penguins. Or does that even work with savants? Melee. Anyway, we're like spreading these things everywhere. Except we're out. But we got lightning. Let's do this the other way. Oh, I've taken a lot of damage actually. Uh, let's spread more of these around. I mean, they want to keep giving them to us. Ooh, I need that. Because I'm bad. Ow. Yeah, I'll take a bit more. Although, do these actually... Okay, they do go through the orange. I'm surprised there are so many enemies left over here, if that's the case. I guess I just didn't shoot any this way. Uh, oh, wait. Destructible terrain in this game. Oh, see you later. All right, got him. Looks like a lot of enemies in there. Um, let's get more of this and uh, head through the portal. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, it looks like I'm actually safe in this corner here. If 
like, I'm not- oh. You're not safe if you actually move slowly along the edge. A dash would have made it to the top just fine. And I wanted to be at the top, so I would, um, actually hit them. <laughs> Alright. We did it. Two targets left in the lower left corner. Let's see. Oh. Just a couple of split enemies. That doesn't deal damage unless it grabs something else, does it? Ooh. I like that. Turns out an auto-seeking remote thing seems pretty good. Oh! Get away! Fetch power. I've had problems with this weapon. Like, it's strong, it returns to you, it seems on paper like it should be really good. But, um, I often overcommit to the idea of actually catching them. And, uh, we've seen me use Tornado as Boki. <laughs> Whenever a power wants me to commit to a position, I instantly forget how to play video games. Oh, this is a level with Shadow Metal on it. That's a good to have. I've also grabbed some mirror. Eleven targets left, okay. We're out of shadow metal, basically. Just gonna discard the fetch for some explode. That is a lot of plasma. I will, in fact, take it. Ow. Alright. Easily destroying the guns from below. Turns out when they're not sniping you from across the level, they're not a tough enemy. And another level down. Okay, what have we got? We've got my favorite enemy in the entire game. Double buzzsaw thing. <laughs> Except that's sarcastic. I think they're well designed. I don't mind the fact that they're in the game. I just have trouble with them. Oh. I'm full on stuff. I do want the fetch. As many problems as I have with it, it is good. Just, it baits me into things. Alright, I think that frog needs to be killed. Oh. Or I watch my projectiles too much. It wasn't even the catching them that was the problem. Oh! That's interesting. Uh, I just sacrificed a ton of health just to grab some explode. Ah, yeah, superconductor. Much better than electromagnet. Except. Electromagnet has some situational stuff where if you grab a bunch of terrain, it's amazing. Alright, dealing with the tornado enemy. Nice. Would like some health? Oh, that's the last enemy. Or rather, it's the last target. There could be other enemies. 
Not too threatening a final target, though. Might have this level still. Whoa! Okay, it turned out we didn't die. I was not intimidated by the sheep in the slightest. I remember getting pretty freaked out the first time I saw Phantom Space. I guess showing it to Boki here will make it a little easier on her if she sees the real thing. Yes, let's hope she never has to. Returning from a brush with death is much easier in a simulation than it is in reality. I guess. Oh, I should have picked remote. I almost want to just restart the level, but there's remote right here. <sighs> what do I mix with it? I like this. It's pretty good. I feel like I'd... I much prefer Savant's remote for this level of Overbokies. power did that guy absorb? Oh, force. I guess that's good. I mean, it is what I'm combining with your mode at the moment. Oh, there's terrain in the way! That's why I wasn't sending my window down. Oh! Hi. Alright, now we have a massive amount of remote. Wow, even the sword projectiles don't get blocked by orange? Power kick, huh? Get wrecked. I got stuck on terrain that I could have easily destroyed. Alright, you need to die, because you can shoot through orange. It can't be a coincidence that remote's the same color as the barriers, can it? I've just now realized this. I mean, remote's maybe... no. I was gonna say it's slightly more brown, but it really isn't. Power kick, I guess. Bait myself into terrible moves once again. <laughs> Except this is the last enemy, so like, it won't be a problem. <sighs> Emissary of Chaos. So the map preview is continuing to be total lies in this area. Because, of course. Alright, glitch Yogball. You seem to act exactly like the Loki version. But, uh, your spreading waves were a big part of your difficulty. And yet, I don't feel compelled to stand on the ground. Whoa! <laughs> Had a bad dash in there. Oop! Yeah? I was just thinking, if I get hit as a savant on this fight, it means I'm bad. Turns out I'm bad. Or at least I occasionally dash the wrong way. Alright, ready for phase two. <laughs> Except there wasn't one. Skywell, Rift of Aldana. Oh, one target. I actually considered quick there. I wonder if it makes any sense to just try to dash across the level and... Um... Oh, there's low gravity for some reason. I must have shot a low gravity thing on the right. I know, I'm just wondering how big this level is. Like, can I just rush to the beers at the end? Or... Would I run out of dashes and, like, get murdered? Okay, the lantern is where the projectiles originate, so be careful of it. Hmm. Yes, 
some Zodiac laser going again. Oh, that goes through walls! I don't think I quite noticed that before. Oh, I don't know if I actually finished saying that I noticed, but I noticed on a previous level with Fetch that if you have Fetch in a weapon slot and you shoot it all off and then pick it up a different weapon, um, the weapon you picked up falls off if you catch one of the Fetch bones. Which then uh, led to the great dive through a bunch of projectiles to get Explode that I dropped adventure. ammo was totally worth it. Oh, well, here's the beers. Ow. Here's uh, me dashing straight into his claws. Oh. Spikes. Even more friendly than the beers' claws. But I knew there was health down there, so I rushed for it. Alright! We won. Easy. <laughs> Have I died this episode? Oh, it's just ready to be hacked. That looked kind of funny. We hacked it as it was falling. It is I destroyed my opponents in the wrong order. Alright, seems good. What's... Oh! I don't actually know how effective that is. I don't know. You can never underestimate things that look small. Because that might mean their damage is just focused. Of course, sometimes it just means that you're using the bit beam. <laughs> Which, uh, turns out is not a ton of damage. Oh wait, that's invincible. Ha! Huh. I totally meleeed it. Watch me rise because I meleeed it. That's how it works, right? Oh, this enemy is... destructible. Um... Where do I go now? Oh, I have wave. This is probably not the best wave thing that I could be using. I really don't like the wave window. It's like an inferior drill window. It's like drill, but it turns around slowly, but not so slowly that you can actually aim one way and move the other. Also, you can just lock drill in place by shooting. Wave doesn't even have the decency to maintain a consistent direction while you shoot. Still, you put up with it for the strong weapons. There's a balance between convenience and power. I just often go for convenience, because I'm bad. Wait a minute. I guess the drill window is the same as the bit beam window, isn't it? So I think I'm gonna have a hard time hitting him with the um, dynamite. Drill, of course, has convenience and power at the expense of range. Right, but by... Maybe instead of convenience, I should just say non-awkwardness, since uh, having short range is pretty inconvenient. Whoa. All the talismans. I don't think they'll really help me. Well, super speed's helping. Oh. What? Oh, zero damage taken. 
a genuinely easy level instead of me joking about it being easy. Emissary, Microcosm, Eldritch... You're not just teaching Boki how to fight robots, you're also teaching her a bunch of fancy words! Knowing obscure vocabulary is a valuable life skill when fighting the enemy. It builds character! I'm sure it does, Savant. Whoa, hi. Fancy meeting you here. They gave me force. Now let's destroy the thing that's convenient to destroy, because it's not going to teleport around as I fight it. Ah! Alright. Let's uh, get something more powerful going. Also, these things regrowing and blocking my path is kind of bothersome. Oh! <laughs> I uh, forgot what a hyper laser was. Eh. How long do those gears last? Oh, health. I'll take it. I kinda need it. Ow. Well, got him! We just killed him with our face. Or he happened to run out of hit points at that moment. I'm not sure which. Oh, they teleport to the ground after they finish rising. Okay. Confirmed you can, in fact, kill them with your face. Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? I appreciate the health, but uh, appearing like that was kind of uncalled for. Okay, so wait, where do you go? Oh, in between these. Oh, hi. Fighting those with tons of space is, in fact, not a big deal. Alright, used all the harvester. But, uh, we can spread Gertars as we destroy the key. Oh! Just a long train of those for most of the remaining targets. Just the two gear enemies are slightly bothersome. Dude. Yeah, it turns out a weapon that pierces through targets is great when you have a big conga line of targets. Anyway, that'll be the last level for the episode. Oh did slightly more than a world, I guess. Because we had three levels at the end of the last world to do at the start of the episode. Um, let's see, how many worlds are left? Oh, still a few. Four full ones. Err, uh, I've taken no screenshots. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> Yeah, 108 was the death count before. Yeah, 1,481 explosions. I think that beats last episode by like a thousand. I believe last episode it was 444. Oh, I do know that! I just checked it! Anyway, see ya!